से सैद सारा आलम और फाइनल ईयर इवनिंग एंड टुडे द टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इज़ अबाउट फार्मास्यूटिकल एक्सपोर्ट इन पाकिस्तान एंड इट्स डेट लाइन इन लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स एंड वॉट मेजर्स कैन बी टेकन टू रिजॉल्व द इशू टू इंक्रीज द फार्मास्यूटिकल एक्सपोर्ट अंडरस्टैंड फार्मास्यूटिकल एक्सपोर्ट इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट ट्रेड परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इन पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान इज़ अ नेट इम्पोर्ट ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल ड्रग्स एंड इंसेप्शन विद इम्पोर्ट वैल्यूड ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी एट मिलियन यू एस डॉलर एंड एक्सपोर्ट ऑफ टू हंड्रेड एंड एटीन मिलियन यू एस डॉलर एंड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन लिविंग अ डेफिसिट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड एंड एटी This figure provides a snapshot of the export and import trajectory of pharmaceuticals in Pakistan. It depicts a rising deficit over the years with import increasing significantly but export rising only marginally. In 2019, pharmaceutical export contributed less than 1% to Pakistan total export. The decline can be explained by an export offering that is of low value and cover a narrow economic resource driven base. The economic complexity of Pakistan export basket has fallen by 20 places over the last 10 years. According to the Economic Complexity Index, Pakistan ranked 99th out of the 133 countries and in the last 5 year has fallen 3 places indicating that export have become relatively less complex. This show that Pakistan has been unable to diversify its exports into higher value added goods such as pharmaceuticals. Time of independence there were no pharma industry in the country today Pakistan has 759 pharmaceutical companies which 25 are multinational accounting for a market share of 45 to 50% the industry are dominated by local companies with account of 2/3 of market share whereas multinational enjoy the remaining 1/3 the top 10 companies constitute approximately 46% of the market whereas the top 50 share approximately 90% of the market many of them were exporting products around the world as pakistan pharmaceutical exports have witnessed an increase of around 23% during the first quarter of the fiscal year 2020 and 2021 2021 which showed a great future prospect Pakistan can increase pharmaceutical export by around 10 million US dollars to 20 million US dollar every year by making policies that help these industry acquire export order what is needed is for the drug regulatory authority of Pakistan to formulate policies that encourage generic medicine export at present drug policies are delaying the process of getting WHO listed agency status Becoming part of a global pharmaceutical value chain is a matter of committed decision making in which both the government and the pharmaceutical company will have to take a medium to long term consistent approach toward policy regulation and investment which means there are areas that are needed to be improved Firstly the government should streamline the registration process of medicine and facilitate better growth of the pharma industry by addressing its key issues so that this industry could boost export and contribute toward strengthening the economy the emphasis that the government should provide a zero rated tax on the import of pharma plants and equipments give relaxation in gst and get it registered with the fda pakistan can increase pharmaceutical export by making policies that have these that have these industry required export order to be able to export medicine a pharmaceutical company needs to have three things license to manufacture gmp compliance report and a product bioequivalency research study report when all of these documents are completed only then there will be countries allow registration of product for import pakistan pharmaceutical firm fulfill the first two condition but fail on the be study report each be study can cost up to 300000 us dollars and our local pharmaceutical companies do not have the ability to fund such studies this is the reason that no pakistani pharmaceutical company is exporting its product to european countries japan australia or russia only two companies one in karachi and one in peshawar offer be research study services in pakistan Currently, to promote new entrants in generic medicine export, WHO drastically reduced the requirement of human trial on a few products, reducing its cost to fourteen thousand five hundred US dollar. There are so many export strategy that can be taken to enhance the pharmaceutical export in Pakistan.
A huge government fund has accumulated in the Central Research Fund, which was created to help increase pharma sector export. If the federal government allow these firm a loan from the CRF, then within a year, Pakistan pharma export will increase. The best thing is that it will not cost the government anything, as the loan will be paid back from companies' export profits. The plan is also sustainable, as the pharma companies will continue new BE research study on new products to increase their export portfolio. Also, government role must be limited to providing an overall enabling environment for manufacturing in industrial park. No targeted allocation of government fund. TRAP should continue its reforms of for drug registration. A global presence requires upgradation of plant and premises to achieve GMP and other quality compliances. TRAP should continue its reforms for quality regulation and reinforcement. The 2025 target of increasing pharmaceutical value from 4 billion to 5 billion. U.S. dollars and export from 218 million to 0.5 to 1 billion dollar appear modest. However, the institutional pricing and quality control measures put in place will allow this sector to comfortably achieve these targets and then be on the path to securing a much higher share of global trade. As Pakistan prepares the enabling environment for attracting investment and global recognition as a producer of quality medicine and vaccines, an internationally competitive pharmaceutical sector will help improve Pakistan's overall image as a modern, modern developing nation contributing to global welfare. Thank you.